Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy Star. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this pearl tulip using watercolor. I'll talk about how I layer the color to create a realistic look and walk you through step by step how I complete this painting. Now, if you're ready, grab your pens and paper and let's start painting. As always, I start with my sketch. I refer to my reference photo and draw out the overall shape. It's quite important to have an actual sketch because it does affect the finished painting. Before coloring, I try to mix and test out on different mixtures to get the exact colors I want for the tulip so I don't have to worry about putting on any wrong colors later. And of course, having a color chart handy really helps a lot when choosing colors. Before painting, I like to mix colors in advance so they are ready to use while coloring and try to make more mixtures at once so it's enough for painting the whole tulip. Also because it's harder to mix another one with exact same hue. Now I start painting from the base layer. I'm going to use the wet on wet technique to blend the base layer. So I first wet the bottom right petal using clean water. Because I'm painting each petal individually, so I didn't wet the whole flower in the beginning. Then I blend the base layer from light to dark color. It's quite important how much water you use. If you apply too much water, the color is gonna totally bleed out and create stains after drying. And the paper should be just nice and glossy without any puddles. Also, your brush shouldn't contain too much water so the color you add on won't bleed out too much. For some small reflections on the petal, I dry my brush and wipe out colors to show the bright side, as you can see here. Then move on to the next petal. I blend the base layer from dark to light color because this petal is in the shade. Then continue the same process to put on the base layer for the other petals.
You should notice the petals in the middle are brighter colors than the ones around the button area. So I do change to a brighter mixture for these petals. For the stamens, make sure the petals are dry before painting. I first mark out the darkest area and for the middle part, I put the base layer on then add the darkest shades while the paper is still wet so the color blends out nicely. For the leaves and stem, it's the similar painting process as petal. I wet the paper first with clean water, then I add base layer while the paper is still wet. After that, I add darker shades around the shadow areas.
For the second layer, I go back and strengthen all shadow areas, especially petals around the button areas. Because they are on the dark side, they should be darker than the petal in the middle. And I also add some vein details on the petals. Lastly, the touch-up, I like to go back to see if there's any details missing or any areas that need to be strengthened again. Now the painting is about done here. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions. That's all for today's video. I really hope it's helpful and if you enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my new art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!